and close indeed. Keep your eyes to the left of screen. Green lights, away we go. And it is a great start from Nitish, but it is Desmond who times his first corner to perfection. And it's the French teenager. Deslandes, who is the early leader, he's ahead of Nittish, who's just behind him in second. Talio is in third. Anderson through the little chicane, there's a the jump, gets the car light, then that quick chicane move. Now let's see how he comes out with uh, Deslandes ahead of Nittish, and it's uh, not a bad performance at all. Calio holds on to third position. Anderson now comes out fourth. Suarez does not get into that magic four. Oh, he lets it go a little loose on that final bend. But Delonde takes top position. Cars are ready. The green light says go. And then again, look at Raymond go here. 1-1-2, one, 1-1-3. One, 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 the Frenchman on the screen gets it sideways. But Guillaume de Rida is having none of it from the Frenchman. And the Belgian holds his line and takes the early lead. Hookbest in the joker now. He's going to merge close to Rwanda as well. Ramon has a look to the inside. Hits all of the bollards on the inside of the curve in the left-hander, but gets ahead. Ramon fires it back up the inside of Hookfist now takes the track position. This is the make or break for it's Cyril Ramon to go into the final. Has he got the head? Will he take third position? No, he's way off. Nightmare for Cyril Ramon of France. While so many of us expected Ramon to be one of the big names to watch for, he's had a nightmare of a semi-final and he's going to miss the last race of the day. Look at him trying right to the end of the challenge. The light goes green, and here we go with the big finale. And it is another scintillating start from the young French driver, Delonde, into first position. And let's watch his performance through that joker. Tries to straighten it out as much as he can through Chicane. And uh, Nitish now has gone behind. Dorida, Dorida takes second position. Delond is ahead. Let's watch the Belgium Championship leader peel off to the right. And now Delond is the new leader. Let's see how he executes the joker lap. Great call from Delond Spotters to cover off Reynas Nitis. Dorida sends it through the joker lap. I don't think it's going to be enough to get a one two count. Calio beat him on the exit. Looks like he. No, Calio doesn't quite have enough. Zerida drops to third, but what a day for this young Frenchman. Oh, absolutely brilliant. In his RX2E debut, Dorian Delonde, at 18 years of age, doesn't just win, he wins emphatically. I'm dreaming uh, since Friday, Friday afternoon. It's an amazing weekend for me. I want to, to thank Albert and Messi a lot for this opportunity and FIE Eric Stewie. No words, I win at home. A dream come true, yeah, for sure. Let's give you the official result in his RX2E World Championship debut. Dorian Delonde takes top position. Nitish also making his first race in the RX2 category. Runner-up, uh, Guillaume Dorida scores valuable points in uh, third position.